say hello Webster. Webster's been acting up, so hopefully he'll be good for our Vlogmas Day 4, I think, video. <laughs> I don't even remember. Um, and hopefully the doorbell won't ring. I actually put cardboard. We live in a pretty, like, kid-filled, busy neighborhood. And today, it's funny because it's a Tuesday, and we've already had all these, like, solicitors come to the door wanting to sell stuff. I think maybe because it's getting close to Christmas. And so I actually put cardboard over the door because I was like, I just don't even want to look at you <laughs> or deal with you today. I know that's terrible, but I'm sure you guys understand. Today I wanted to do... Um, for Vlogmas Day 4, my Christmas playlist. This was really hard for me to pick out um, just a handful of songs that I love because I love Christmas music. And I think part of the problem with Christmas music too is that there's really only like a certain number, you know, of Christmas songs and carols and then different artists do their interpretation of them. It's not necessarily that there's like that much original Christmas content. I mean, maybe there is, I don't know. But I find that for at least the things that I tend to kind of gravitate towards are um, songs that have been done like a hundred million times. And also, speaking of music, do you guys watch the uh, Victoria's Secret fashion show? I think that comes on tonight and I usually watch it and then by the end of it, I want to put down the cheeseburger and get on the elliptical machine, but I still watch it. It's very entertaining. I love all the glitter and the music and all the costumes and stuff. Um, but I usually, I think tonight Rudolph comes on, so of course I'm gonna watch that because that's my favorite Christmas special. And then later on, that's like actually one thing I can get Andrew on board to watch with me. <laughs> Is that mean he's a boy? What can I say? It's a Victoria's Secret fashion show. But anyway, just curious your thoughts on that if you watch it or uh, are going to watch it. But the first song on my list is actually a new one I discovered, and I told you told you about it I think in my Winter Licious tag. But it's Bing, it's by Bing Crosby, and it's Happy Holidays, which actually he sang I think in Holiday Inn and definitely in White Christmas. But it's Bing Crosby's Happy Holidays, but it is the Beef Wellington, like the food remix. And what they did with this was they took the um, regular Happy Holidays carol, they didn't change any of it that Bing Crosby sings, and they added um, like a rap beat to it. And so it's really, it kind of sounds like something you would hear in a club, but I like it because it's still like at the base of it, that same traditional carol. And what I like about it is it's really fun to listen to like in the car. And it just makes you like, it just makes you want to dance. And I really like it. I think it would be good for um, Christmas parties and stuff. I can kind of picture my friends and I in our ugly Christmas sweaters, like dancing around to this song. But anyway, the next one is actually um, an album. And that is the Shadaisy Christmas album. I'm not like the biggest country music fan, but there's a few things that I like. I just realized my blush looks cray cray on camera. Sorry. I'm like, ooh, um, looking a little clowny there. The Shadaisy Christmas album is country, and except if you don't like country, I think you might still like this album because it's not necessarily like really country sounding. It has a lot of um, carols, and they have really pretty acapella harmonies, and that's the main reason that I like it. And what I like about it is almost all of it is like original content instead of just, so if you're looking for something a little bit different, I think the Shadaisy Christmas album is really good. And then the next one is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. And I'm so excited because Rochelle and I are actually going to see this Sunday. And I can't wait. And that is the Nutcracker soundtrack. Um, by, of course, the Ch the Chikosker. I can't even talk. The composer, Tchaikovsky, <laughs> he wrote um, the Nutcracker Ballet. And it's so beautiful. And especially if you're a fan of the ballet, when you hear the music, you you know you picture the different dances. And my favorite one is... um. I don't even remember what song it is, which is kind of sad since I love it so much. But the one where the ballerinas are dancing and the snow is falling down on them. And I just think it's so Christmassy and it's beautiful. And I'm just a huge, huge fan of the Nutcracker. And I like, you know, it's classical music. So if you're not into that, you might not like it. But what I like about it is it's very, um, I mean, it's beautiful. The melodies are beautiful. All the songs are a little bit different. And to me, it just makes me think of Christmas time. Um, I'm not even really like a huge ballet fan necessarily, even though I like it. But I love, 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 love the Nutcracker. I think it is, like, just as Christmas as you can get, besides, like, Santa Claus. But anyway, the next one is um, the White Christmas Musical. I told you about the um, DVD or the movie version. But they actually, last year, or no, it's been several years, because I think it came out when I was a librarian, so, like, maybe three or four years. I don't know the time frame. But anyway, they came out with um, White Christmas as, like, a Broadway musical, and it was actually... In New York, and then I think it, it goes on tours. I believe it's touring this year. But the closest place um, 
from Virginia that you could go see. It was like Ohio, and we couldn't afford that, so we didn't go. But um, you can buy the soundtrack from the musical, the Broadway recording on um, iTunes, and I loved it. Oh, my gosh. They actually expanded on some of the songs that in the movie they're only able to sing like a few bars of for time reasons, and I just love it. I um I love my favorite song on there is Blue Skies and I just love um it's another one that just makes me happy it makes you want to dance and sing and it's very um it's super festive and that's another one that I think would be really good to play at Christmas parties with Rochelle and I love it we listen to it all the time even when it's not Christmas we're a little obsessed and the next one is oh my gosh I don't know if I've told you guys this I'm sure I have but I'm a really really huge Dolly Parton fan I feel like if I met her. I would maybe poop myself and then pass out. <laughs> I just really, I enjoy her. I love her story. I think um, I love her um, personality and like her, you know, how she stays close to her roots and like she is able to laugh at herself and makes fun of herself. I just think that's a really endearing quality. But I love her version of Hard Candy Christmas. And actually, this first came out in her movie, The Best Little House in Texas. I don't want to say it because I don't know what age groups watch my video. But um, you can probably figure it out if you Google it. But she sings Hard Candy Christmas in that movie. And that movie is absolutely not appropriate for any children unless they're 18 or older, just for the record. <laughs> um, but I love this song. It's her. She um, In the movie, she runs a brothel. And she... Uh, they get shut down, and so she's singing, like, this sad song. And the song's not necessarily about the brothel. It's just about how, like, sometimes Christmas is not that fun, and sometimes it sucks, and you're sad, and you miss loved ones. And um, it sounds really depressing, but it's just one of those, like, that you can just belt out in the car, and you're like, yeah, I feel you. <laughs> and I just I just really like it, and I like Dolly Parton. And I also really like all of Dolly Parton's um, random Christmas albums with, like, Lee Majors and Kenny Rogers and stuff. She has some good ones, just singing, like, the traditional character or characters carols so if you like dolly parton you got to check that out and then the next one is feliz navidad by jose feliciano and um i mean come on feliz navidad like <laughs> it just makes me think of nachos and mariachi bands and i know that sounds kind of racist but i just love that song and um it was one of the first songs that i ever really like as a child could sing the words to which is funny because it's not in english um but it's just one of those it's like catchy and when you get it stuck in your head like it is stuck in your head um, I just, I like it, and the boys, you know, that I used to be a nanny for, like, they, they know all the words to it, they love to sing, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas, I love to hear them sing it, because they do this, like, weird head bobble thing, <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but anyway, every time I hear it, it just makes me laugh, and it makes me happy, so I really like that one, and then the next one is White Christmas by the Drifters, and the Drifters were a popular, like, 50s, 60s Motown kind of band, um, and they have a really good version of it that's a little bit different. They have like a, a nice um, heavy like acapella bass beat in the background. And it's just a little bit um, faster and a little more fun than the regular White Christmas like Bing Crosby sings that slower. This is a little bit more, has like a Motown feel to it and I really like that. And I first heard it in the um, Jonathan Taylor Thomas movie I'll Be Home for Christmas that Disney put out. And I, when I heard that song, I think they play it when they drop him off in the desert. And I was like, oh, that's a catchy version of um, White Christmas. So that is White Christmas by the Drifters. And I would sing it for you, except um, I don't have, <laughs> like, that bass tone, so it would sound pretty stupid. And then the next one is In Sync's Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I have no idea what that song is called, but I really liked the In uh, Sync Christmas album back in the day. And it's also one of those that brings back memories of, like, high school and early college. And they just um, put their In Sync boy band kind of spin on a lot of Christmas songs and that one the happy Merry Christmas happy holidays is that even what it's called if you know leave it in the comments below because I'd be curious <laughs> it's on my iPod but I didn't look to see um what the name of it was so oops but and that's a that's like original content too and it's one they played out on the radio pretty often and then the next one I used to hate this song like just flat out hate it every time it came on the radio it would just like make my ears bleed and then Rochelle started playing it in her car and singing it and was kind of into it. And for whatever reason, like, it caught on to me. I don't know if that's, like, a peer pressure kind of thing or what. But the next song is I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas by Gail Peavy. And I still don't know if Gail Peavy is a boy or a girl. Because in that song, you can't really tell. 
Like, it sounds like a girl singing, but at the same time, like, Justin Timberlake sounds like a girl in some of his songs. And so, I don't, I don't know. Like, you can't really tell. It either sounds like an old woman trying to sing like a child or like a boy that hasn't hit puberty yet. Like, it's very confusing. But anyway, whoever Gail Beebe is, him or her, the I Want a Hippopotamus song is, um, that's another one that gets stuck in your head. And it's just kind of like a fun, silly Christmas song. And then the next one is Away in a Manger. I love that song. I love all versions of that song. Um, I like to picture, like, baby Jesus in the manger and all the animals, you know, kind of looking over him adoringly. And my favorite version, I haven't been able to find it, like, to put on my iPod anywhere, but in Andy Griffith, of course, you know, I love that show. And the episode of Christmas Story, they are having a Christmas party in the jail, and he and um, Ellie Walker, the pharmacist that he's kind of dating or whatever, in the first season, they sing a version of it together, and it's absolutely beautiful, their harmonies. Um, I've been trying to get Andrew to do it with me to record for his grandmother because we both kind of sing. But don't judge that singing I did earlier. <laughs> that was sad. But um, we wanted to maybe do something like that for her um, since she loves, like, hymns and stuff. But I love Andy Griffith. Um, what was her name? I think her real name in real life is Eleanor Donahue. But anyway, it's just a really pretty version. So if you've seen that episode or like Andy Griffith, check it out. And the next one is Winter Wonderland. Winter, Winter Wonderland was like one of the very first Christmas songs that I ever learned when I was little. I used to belt the crap out of that thing. And I think um, probably the first version I learned, I guess, was like Bing Crosby. Because Bing Crosby is um, like essentially you know, Christmas carols, everybody associates him with that, and he has a ton of different Christmas songs out, and Christmas albums, so, um, he's one, one in doubt on a Christmas song, look up Bing Crosby on iTunes, and you'll be guaranteed to find it, and then the next one is Here Comes Santa Claus by Elvis Presley, um, I don't know why, but he, he, it has, like, this funky rhythm, too, and he's like, here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, why do I always do that head bubble when I sing a song on here? I don't know what this is, but anyway, I love it. I love when he sings that. It's very, um, it's one of those, like, I guarantee if you listen to it, you're going to end up doing this because for some reason, like, that beat just makes you want to bubble your head, but I really loved that version of it. Um, there's so many different versions of Here Comes Santa Claus, and my kids and my class sing it all the time, you know, like the traditional one, but I really like this one because it's a little bit different, and it's kind of catchy, and oddly enough, that one was also in... Jonathan Taylor Thomas's I'll Be Home for Christmas. I'm detecting a pattern here. <laughs> but anyway, check that one out. I really like it. And it's kind of in like the same um, genre or type of music as the um, White Christmas by the Drifters. They kind of have like a similar beat to them. But I just really like them. And they're just those happy songs you hear in them all while you're Christmas shopping. You're kind of like, mm -hmm. Anyway, um, the next one is Melikim... Uh, uh, Mele Kalikimaka <laughs> um, by Bing Crosby. And if you have seen National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, when Chevy Chase is looking out the um, out his back door at where he's going to build his um, intended Christmas, he's going to use his Christmas bonus to build a swimming pool outside of his house, and you hear that um, you hear that song playing in the background while he's watching his family swim, and then that um, like half naked girl lingerie salesman from the department store. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you need to watch that movie. Not with your kids, I don't think. But it's a, it's hilarious. Um, and every time I hear that song, I automatically think of that movie. And then the next one is, um, I don't, this is like, I have a love-hate relationship with this song, but it's a funky, funky Christmas by New Kids on the Block. It's probably the worst song that New Kids on the Block have ever put out. And yet at the same time, I'm like, I don't know why. But whenever it comes on the radio, I'm like, yeah, this is my jam, turn it up. And I don't know why I do that, because it's really not that good of a song. But um, that's another one that's just like high school, early college memories, um, depending on how old you are. And it's just a silly, fun song. And I recently discovered the, this is embarrassing, but the Cheetah Girls Christmas album, I don't know what it's called, but those songs are really good. Um, they're kind of, some of them are kind of silly, you know, when they do like words over it and stuff. But I really enjoyed the Cheetah Girls Christmas album, so check that out, too. And then I'm also kind of getting into bluegrass now. I've been trying to learn, like, just, I mean, I'm not a musician by any means, but trying to learn how to play a couple of different instruments, and I found some really good bluegrass carols, just kind of searching, um, you know, on iTunes, like, not any album in particular or anything. 
And then my other favorite Christmas music are the songs from all the Christmas specials, like the songs from the Frosty special and all the songs from the Rudolph special, which comes on tonight, by the way. And, um, uh, like the songs from the Charlie Brown and just all of those. I used to love that, um, song from the Garfield Christmas special, the, oh, how does it go? Something like, we'll have a good old fashioned Christmas down on the farm or something. But anyway, this video is already way too long, so I'm going to stop talking. Let me know what your favorite Christmas song or album is in the comments below, and hopefully Rochelle will put hers up soon, and I will see y'all later. Bye.